there, and welcome to What the F*** is That? I'm your host, Keo, and today we're going to try to help you better understand what the F*** is climate engineering. Climate engineering, otherwise known as geoengineering, <laughs> is defined as the deliberate and large-scale intervention in the Earth's climatic system with the aim of reducing global warming. Climate engineering has two categories of technologies, carbon dioxide removal and solar radiation management. Now that we have a little better understanding of what climate engineering is, let's go into the different technologies being used and some real-world examples of their side effects. Carbon dioxide removal methods refer to a number of technologies which reduce the levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Among such technologies are bioenergy with carbon capture and storage, biochar, direct air capture, ocean fertilization, and enhanced weathering. Bioenergy with carbon capture and storage is basically to bury it underground and hope for the best. It is pretty much the same thing we do with all the garbage and radioactive waste we produce. Ocean fertilization is basically to take a bunch of iron, urea, or phosphorus and dump it into the ocean. Another possible objective of ocean fertilization is to produce more sulfate aerosol in the atmosphere and so increase the amount of sunlight being reflected by clouds, cooling the Earth. At least, that's the theory. The second technology is solar radiation management. Solar radiation management seeks to reflect the sunlight and thus reduce global warming. Proposed examples include the creation of stratospheric sulfate aerosols, basically particulate matter that floats in the upper atmosphere, blocking the sun's rays. In the next episode, we'll discuss some of the side effects of these ongoing projects. If you like this information, be sure to let us know by subscribing and hitting like. Thanks!